Hey guys, Quake and Grizzle here, back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video, and I'm very excited for this video and to uh, be playing this match right now because I'm playing with the brand new uh, Batarian character, the Batarian Vanguard. Now, this character is awesome. I've had one practice match with this. This is going to be kind of a loose guide, a loose character guide, but also like a first impressions and review of this character. Now, I haven't done one of these in quite a while because uh, I'm generally not lucky enough to get a character straight away from the get go, but I've got it pretty early. It's a fairly recent very new addition to the game but honestly this is no understatement this character is amazing this is one of the best characters if not the best character in the game now that might just be my opinion you know uh, everyone's entitled to their own opinion and you know it's, it's it's basically down to your preference obviously it's, it's down to opinion but it is such a good character now the fact that it's uh, biotic but also very uh, close range sort of oriented i'll talk about you know that more in a second it's so cool it just it just works so good feels so good yeah we're playing with another batarian vanguard right here. he's like max level as well i don't know how he's got max level so quickly but the stats of this character are pretty damn good like the base stats it's got pretty good stats from the start so i'm guessing that once you get it to like level 20 rank 10 it's gonna have pretty decent stats um great powers it's got annihilation or annihilation field it's got flat cannon it's got a uh, biotic charge now biotic charge is great because as soon as you use it, it refills your shields back up to uh, maximum or your biotic barriers back up to maximum. Um, flat cannon can be great. It's not always great, but it can be great um, because it's great for scattering enemies. It's great for shooting down, you know, uh, hovering above enemies and shooting down on massive groups of enemies. It'll scatter them all by you or your teammates, uh, you know, a few extra seconds and do a lot of cluster damage. And you've got Annihilation Field, which will do a gradual sort of... Uh, residual damage to any enemies in your sort of uh, in, in your radius and it will sort of uh, i think it cuts their damage re resistance down a little bit as well and something i just noticed is it's actually got the batarian gauntlet for a uh, for a uh, melee attack or melee attack haven't noticed it yet but that is really really cool i love that uh, i love that animation i'm guessing that it's got a higher what the f how the hell did i just got about uh freaking uh, biotic combo by using a batarian gauntlet i think that was awesome that surprised me but i'm guessing it's got higher damage this batarian gauntlet melee attack i'm guessing it's got a higher damage uh, stat than like just the normal omni blade because the krogan like the krogan characters especially the krogan uh, mercs uh, melee attack has higher damage than most other melee uh, or melee attacks in the game so i'm guessing this one's got you know a higher damage as well and what i said before about it being a very sort of uh, uh close range melee uh focused character it really is all of its powers are very focused and very sort of uh, tilted towards close range combat now annihilation it's like a for anyone that doesn't know it's like this blue biotic field that floats around you and does constant uh, over over time sort of gradual damage to any support in its radius Black cannon can be sort of like a long range uh, weapon, but it's very unpredictable at long range and it can be very, very difficult to hit enemies at long range because it sort of arcs when you shoot it, it arcs when you shoot it at, uh, if you shoot it too far away from you, it's going to arc, it's going to drop and uh, sort of uh, just, uh, it's not going to go too far, it's not a super long range uh, power by any means, so that's kind of, it's still like close to medium range, I guess you, I guess you could call it, and then again, uh, the final ability power that this guy's got is the Biotic Charge, or Vanguard Charge. So goddamn awesome. It's one of the most, uh, like, underrated... Oh, I'm about to go down. It's one of the most underrated abilities and powers in the game. It does a lot of damage once you spec it, once you, you know, rank it up. It does a lot of damage to any enemy that you use it on, but it also refills your Biotic Barriers up to maximum. So it's kind of like the Biotic version of any drink. It's very, very useful, and it sets off Biotic Combo. It's a Biotic Combo detonator it's a combo detonator so it's very very cool and uh, very effective at the same time so this is very much a uh, close range based character which is why i'm using the disciple shotgun with this if you're going to use weapons with this you don't have to use shotguns this is sort of one of those characters that you can rock with a pistol or some machine gun but definitely make sure that you don't really have to sort of focus on close range with this character but make sure that you're comfortable with close range and make sure that the weapons you're using are also equally comfortable with close range because uh, you're really going to be getting in a lot of close range engagements with this character it's also a very fast character it's like a very it's like a scrappy character it's like a scrappy sort of uh sort of like rottweiler type character it's a, it's a very sort of uh, aggressive offensive close range character you're going to want to use the speed and agility of this character to its advantage and sort of 
pursue the enemies. Don't play defense too much unless, obviously, you're, uh, you know, at an objective and you need to hold the objective down. That, just, that guy just went for a swim. Uh, but try and play offensive a lot with this character because he's very fast. He's got a great me melee attack. He's got some great uh, close range weapons uh, or close range abilities. I guess you could call them close range weapons. So it's really, really effective to use this guy at, uh, at close range. So try and play to it. Try and play to that strength. Obviously, uh, you're going to run into a lot more enemies if you actively go and chase them down and try and try and kill them as opposed to just sitting in one spot and fighting them. He's, uh, he's, he's one of the strangest, sort of, most hybridized characters in the game. Because close range and biotics generally isn't a thing that's combined. Obviously, you had the Krogan, uh, the Krogan Vanguard, which is sort of like, a, 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 kind of a similar character to this, I guess. He's kind of a similar character to this in the sense that he's biotic, but also a tanky, sort of close range character. But this guy's a lot faster, a lot more offensive than that guy, and he's got much better shield stats than that guy. Uh, the Krogan Vanguard has, without a doubt, the worst uh, stats in the game. I think this guy's got 175 shields, which is the second worst stats in the game, actually. I believe he's got... That's when you start out. That's like the first match you play, it'll have 175 shields. But after that, obviously, you can level it up and, and improve it. Whereas the Krogan uh, Vanguard has 150. So he's better than the Krogan Vanguard in that regard. But uh, I believe he has got 175 shields from the start. I might, I might be mistaken and thinking of another character, but I believe that's the case. And if it is, obviously, avoid uh, trying to avoid too many, you know, large amounts of uh, enemies. Because once your shields go down, you will get absolutely hammered. Or not, no, not once your shields go down. Your shields will go down very quickly. Is what I'm saying. And obviously, your shields, once your shield go, shields go down, you will be in a bad way, and you'll be, in, uh, you, you know, you'll have a lot of difficulties, especially when you first start playing. This guy right now that I'm playing with is level one. This is like a full first on first impressions or like a guide from the get go. It's not a platinum guide. Uh, you don't have to get him up to level 20 to play with the guy that I'm giving you now. Probably it's sort of useful for you guys because I usually do uh, platinum guides and sort of max level guides. I thought this would be useful since he's a fairly new character. I thought it'd be useful for all of you and helpful for all of you who might just you know only be unlocking this character possibly in the next few weeks or days after he has uh, been released. But he's a very cool looking character as well. You can't really see it. I can't see the front of him, but he's got like this awesome freaking like scarf on. He's got pretty cool looking armor. I don't like the Batarian scrap or the other Batarian character in terms of visuals. I don't, I just don't like the, the visual design of him, but I really like the visual design of this guy. I've been playing with the Krogan Merc. If you've seen my uh, more recent videos, I've been playing a lot with the Krogan Mercenary, and I can tell you, uh, that guy's so slow, obviously the Krogan characters are very, very slow. This guy is the complete opposite. He's fast as hell. One of, oh god, this guy's about to get freaking uh, executed. He's one of the fastest characters in the game, and he's so goddamn effective. He's so goddamn effective as a close range uh, brawler, really. He's like a bra brawler. You gotta pursue the enemies, you gotta chase after enemies and chase after fight. But he's really effective, and there's only. Well, I'm level 1 now. Generally speaking, as good of a player as you are, I'm really not an amazing player at this game, but I'm competent, I'm okay. Um, but as good of a player as you are, generally you level 1, even on bronze, you're going to generally have a little bit of trouble, at least. Especially when there's only two of you. God damn, I just, I just missed that. Especially when there's only two of you. Crap, I'm about to get executed. No! Crap, I've got freaking wrecked. Is this guy going to save me or not? Don't save me. Prioritize on the, uh, the objective. Right, I'm going to get myself back up. Screw it, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna go for this. Cover me, bro. Cover me, bro. But yeah, what I'm saying is, you can tell he's very, very effective. A, because I'm pretty bad at the game, generally. I'm quite a big noob, but also because I'm level 1, and generally speaking, if you're at level 1 and you've only got one teammate, you'd usually have quite a lot of trouble. But I'm not. It's very effective. They're really good character. Crap, this guy's about to... God, I hate this thing so much. I'm fully focused now, because I want this to be an entertaining video. I want, I want this video to be a success, instead of just me dying. I'm not doing anything for the team because I'm level one, so I'm gonna get this. Uh, get this. Cover me, bro. Please, please, please. Please, no IDs. Please, no IDs, right? My shields go down to him. In fact, I'm gonna use this to get my shield back up. And I'm gonna make a. Oh, I, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna bring my shield back up with a uh, med kit. Dash out of there. His dash is pretty fast as well. He's just got the standard sort of uh, boost dash. I think this is the last uh, device, so we should be all good after this. Right, let's see if we can help us do that. Also, the uh, the Biotic Vanguard charge, you probably already know what it is, and you're already familiar with it because there's a lot of Vanguard characters in the game already that you don't even need to unlock. But it's also very good for closing in on enemies. You don't have to run around, you don't have to, you know, run down a long corridor and take tons of enemy fire. Just use this and you're, you're, use this and you're set. You're close range of them. 
which is another reason why shotguns and close range weapons work so well with this character because it's so uh, you so you've got such capability of getting close up and personal to the enemy now i gotta go and find a uh, an ammo box right we've got an ammo box down here for some reason i'm still not uh, i'm still not familiar with this uh, map enough to know where it is wave seven already that has gone pretty damn quickly um, but I'm loving this character. Expect a ton of videos and a ton of content with this guy. Because this guy might just be my new favorite character. That's no wonder. I'm not. This isn't like a, an over exaggeration. He's an, he's an awesome character. He's so goddamn good. It's so fun to play with. And from the get go, he's good. Like a lot of characters you have to really break into. Like, a lot of characters are terrible. They're crap when you, when you first start playing with them. Just because that's, you know, because they're level one. This guy, he's so good and he's got so much potential that even at level 1, he's effective as hell. Super fun to play with. I think, oh, I forgot to reactivate. Oh no! I forgot to reactivate uh, Annihilation Field. I forgot it deactivates when you die. So remember that, if you die with this guy, reactivate Annihilation Field. He's really fun and he's such a perfect blend of uh, tank and brawler, but also biotics. So cool. And, uh... Biotic Charge is one of my more favorite abilities in the game. The only problem with it up until now, at least in my opinion, uh, the only problem with the uh, Biotic Charge up until now, in my opinion, was that they, uh, but it was never paired with very good abilities. It's actually, you, you know, you have the Human Vanguard that has the Biotic Charge ability. But then I don't really like the other abilities that, he's, that he has. He's quite weak in terms of the other abilities. They're quite sort of lackluster and not really that. They don't stand out that much, but this guy's got some really decent powers. I love Annihilation Field because you don't even have to be good at the game, and I'm not good at the game, like I said. Uh, you don't even have to be good at the game to get killed with that or get, you know, get points with that because it's just going to rack you up points over time. Oh my god, I'm about to get wrecked. I'm stuck, stuck in a freaking crossfire right now. I'm going to get out of that. I've got a bunch of uh, medi gel if I need it. I'm going to make a run for this dude. But honestly, without sounding too arrogant, I think I probably could have done this without that guy there. It would have been hard, but. I'm not saying it's a good game, I'm saying it's a very good character, a very decent character. And uh, try this dude out, he's an ultra rare character, so you're probably going to want to open uh, 100k packs. Please do not go down! You're probably going to want to open 100k packs, ideally. You might be able to get him out of 50k packs, or yeah, 50k packs, you've got a small chance of getting him out of 50k packs, but try. Uh, obviously, go for 100k packs if you've got the money, because you'll stand a better chance of getting him. Anyway guys, that's going to bring it to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, check this character out. He's awesome. And also, stick around on my channel and uh, look out for the future videos because uh, uh, with this guy because I'm going to be doing tons and tons of videos with this guy. Platinum guides, uh, weapon build guides, class guides, what weapons go best with this guy, what equipment goes best with this guy. I'll be covering it in a ton of videos because this character is absolutely awesome. And uh, I've actually got him up to level 3 now, that, that match actually got him up to level 3. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It would really help me out, and I would really appreciate it. If you want to see any more of my videos, definitely stick around and subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.